So the win streak came to an end in the previous game. The Justin Morneau debut, the 10-game winning streak was snapped. So I need to get back in the win column because I find that if you uh, go on these little win streaks and stuff and then you get your first L in a little bit, that you will just continue to lose this game. Will just This game will just screw you over and just make you lose games consistently. And then you will, you will go on a losing streak after a big winning streak, which has happened to me a couple times. And I'm sure it's happened to a lot of people too. So I need to get back in the win column. Justin Morneau had a uh, pretty solid debut. Almost tied the game late in the previous game. Almost went deep to straightaway center field. But Ichiro came down with the damn ball. So, yeah, man, I was playing him in this game. I didn't, even against lefties, I'm, I'm going to be playing this uh, flashback Morneau because he has very good hitting stats versus lefties. He has better power against lefties, like I said in the previous video, 94 power. Very good vision, too, so I'm going to be sticking him out there against lefties, no problem. Gets a double in his first at-bat in this game, so he's off to another good start in his second game on the squad. And this is going to be a double upload day, too. The next video is not going to be a uh, Diamond Dynasty head-to-head -head game. It's going to be a different type of video, man, because I've just been posting head-to-head -head games and stuff like that. Uh, consistently for many months now and I've been looking for some other MLB videos to post and stuff so I'm gonna be posting a little bit of a different video later today and yeah I'm not really sure when it's going to be uploaded but it's going to be a different type of video I'm gonna start doing uh, those types of videos more and yeah it's just gonna be something new I'm gonna start doing because yeah this is a good time to do those types of videos too and I don't know, man, maybe some people are getting sick and tired of seeing the head-to-head -head games, too. So I'm going to be switching it up a little. I'm still going to be posting head-to-head -head games, like, every day and stuff. I'm just going to throw in one of these new videos every now and then so people aren't getting bored as shit of the head-to-head -head games and stuff like that. So that video will be uploaded later today. Wanted to say that so I did not forget to mention it so some people... Yeah, the way YouTube's been working lately, like, I need to, you know, shout out when I'm going to be uploading videos and stuff because, yeah, man, some people aren't... Uh, getting the videos when I post them or just every single person you're subscribed to on YouTube You may not be getting their videos in your subscription box uh, Every time they post for some reason. I don't even know what the hell YouTube is saying I just heard so many people say that this is a problem I'm guessing it's a problem for me too because somebody actually commented on one of my videos or the video I posted yesterday and said that YouTube automatically just unsubscribe them to my channel. What the hell is that BS? What is that? Is YouTube trying to fuck people over or some shit? Is this like, is this when YouTube just starts, you know, rewarding these big channels and shit and then the little channels like myself get no love and they just get pushed to the back and to, to never be seen or heard from again? So yeah, I guess what you have to do is when you subscribe to somebody's channel, you got to hit that bell next to the subscribe button and turn notifications on. Other, other, yeah, otherwise, I guess you're not going to get their video in your subscription box. And then you may like just get randomly unsubscribed to their channel and you won't even know what's happening. So I don't even know what the hell YouTube is saying these days. That is just a huge buzzkill for anyone who's not a big channel, if you ask me. Because, yeah, like sometimes... Uh, sometimes I'll be getting, you know, a good amount of subscribers, and then times like th these days, I'm not getting as many as I was at certain moments, which a lot of people are probably going through at this moment, because, yeah, man, like, YouTube is just screwing some people over, but yeah, if you want to, uh, you know, if you don't want YouTube to screw you over as well, then hit that fucking bell next to the subscribe button, and you will get all the videos when you turn notifications on because I guess that has been a huge problem hopefully that hopefully that shit will be fixed very soon and I think I wanted to say something else in this video I forget what else I was gonna say I don't even remember I already said that I was going to be posting a second video today uh, before the Raiders and Chiefs game because dude that game is going to be the best game of the NFL season 100% every single Thursday night game if I remember correctly has been a snoozer there may be like one or two games I'm forgetting but yeah man this game is going to be so damn insane I'm going to be sitting there not moving not budging an inch off my damn coach sitting on my lazy ass watching this Raiders Chiefs game and that is, that's easily going to be one of the best games of the season if you ask me and the, the last couple weeks of the NFL season is going to be incredible man you should look at week the last couple weeks of the season, man, they got some huge, huge divisional games and shit. You know, so some of those games are going to be for first place in the division, too. 
So yeah, man, that's just going to be epic as shit. I want to get that video posted before that game, which I will. And yeah, that next video I post too, it'd be appreciated if everybody, or just, you know, yeah, if you want to like comment on the video and like it and stuff like that, let me know if you enjoy uh, those new types of videos I'm going to be doing because yeah, I guess, I guess these days too, you got to like leave a like and comment on uh, your videos. You got to get a lot of likes and comments on your videos for your videos to show up in the uh, recommended section or something like that for like if you're watching an MLB video and you want somebody else's video to be in the recommended section you gotta you know have a lot of likes and comments on your video which I already knew like I'm pretty sure everybody knew that but I guess these days it's coming into play more because they're kind of rewarding all these big YouTubers and shit now I have no idea well I don't even know what's going on it is just a huge buzzkill what YouTube is doing these days but yeah the next video will be uploaded uh, in a couple hours after this one and yeah, I need to get back in the win column, as I already said, because I do not want to go on a losing streak for sure. And I am down 3-1 in this game. If anybody is going to spark the comeback, it is going to be this 95 rookie Braun. This is just too easy for Braun, dude. This guy is out here just embarrassing pitchers. It is to the point where it is, you know, this guy is just walking up to the plate and he's calling his shots. He's pulling a Babe Ruth. He's pointing to the bleachers and the ball will be landing there. So that is a, that's another solo shot on the board for that brawn. And it is now a 3-2 ball game in the sixth inning. So it is now 3-2. I put Ted Williams back in the lineup too. I haven't played with Ted Williams in a very long time. And I find that I've been doing better against lefties with this Ted Williams, to be completely honest, man. I find that, you know, yeah, I've just been doing better against the lefties. I haven't been hitting that many dingers with this fucking Ted Williams dude, which is a huge, which is a huge piss off like Ted Williams and Pujols, man. I was just grinding like an, like an animal. Pretty much I was just grinding like an animal like everybody see, seemed to have been doing back in August to get the prime Pujols and Ted Williams. And then I got the uh, Prime Pools and Ted Williams. And man, these two cards have been the biggest disappointment. The biggest disappointments I've used in this game easily. The two biggest disappointment cards I've used have been the cards I spent the most time trying to get. So that is a huge buzzkill. I want to get Ted Williams back in so we could at least try and do something. Did not get a base hit in this damn game. So I mean, Ted Williams is probably going to go back to the bench. He is a good pinch hitter to use. I find that when I use him in pinch hitting situations, he doesn't he doesn't hit any home runs or anything, but he just comes up with like, uh, you know, he, he's he's a single machine pretty much that Ted Williams and even that Ted Williams is, even though he has amazing power and stuff versus righties, I find that he doesn't hit barely, he doesn't hit any home runs. I don't even know if I have like 10 home runs with that Ted Williams. I probably have much more than that, but it feels like I barely have any home home runs with Ted Williams. So. Yeah, I've been trying to get him going forever. It just has not worked out just like the prime pool hole. So that is why he is on the bench. It is getting late. It is getting very late in this game. Reggie Jackson, this guy is putting in as a pinch hitter with two down in the bottom of the seventh. He's able to get a base hit off Kelvin Herrera. So he's trying to get a two out rally going to get some more insurance on the board. So... Kelvin Herrera needs to man the hell up and get Reyes on the third out so I don't have to uh, make a bigger comeback than it already was. It seems like you'll be down in games by like two runs and it will feel like you're down by ten. It kind of felt like that in this game. I have no idea why, but it felt like I was down by much more than two runs in this game. But I'm able to get Reyes on the ground out to first base. Morneau gets that easily. So Grady is in. I put Grady in for... Uh, Matt Kemp, I believe, since he did put a righty in this game. But Grady isn't doing something clutch, which is very rare. That is just a fly out to left field. So Morno is in. No pinch hitter needed for Morno. Doesn't matter if it's a lefty or a righty. That was a fail by saying that. Obviously, I was not going to put a pinch hitter in against a righty. So 2-0 count. It is in my favor. You know I'm swinging for the fences. Dude. I have been getting under some balls with this Morneau so far, dude. Holy shit, I have been getting under these. Oh, my Jesus, man. Like, the last game, I just got under one twice. And then this game, too, just got... Look at that. Look at that. Just got under that one. That one should have been hit over the scoreboard in center field. So, Braun, he is up again. And he needs to do something. Does not in this at-bat. That is just a weak little ground up to second base. So, now we're going into the bottom of the eighth. 
And I'm running out of time. This guy's obviously trying to get more insurance on the board. Almost gets another home run on the board with Prince Fielder. Ted Williams is able to get that, though, at the warning track in left center. So with two down, uh, Chipper Jones is up, which I haven't seen a lot of people use Chipper Jones lately. I haven't seen that many people use Chipper Jones at all in the whole time I've been playing MLB 16, which is, I don't know, I feel like that's a card that is pretty decent since he is a switch hitter and a good third baseman. I haven't seen that many people use that Chipper Jones. So... I'm down to my last three outs, and it was not a good start to the ninth inning. A-Rod goes down swinging. I was thinking about putting a pinch hitter in because A-Rod, he is just, he's Mr. Non-Reliable pretty much. Ted Williams grounds out. Ted Williams with 0 for 5. Sit your ass on the bench, you fucking stink. So, man, Pablo, everybody's been talking shit. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Here's a swing, and oh, man. Way out of here. For some reason, man, I've been getting some hate from using this flashback Pablo Sandoval. I know it did not get off to a good start with him, but still, he's only played around six or seven games, so it is a small sample size so far. There is not, there's not going to be a more clutch home run that he is probably going to hit on the squad. Hopefully, he will hit a, clutch, a more clutch home run in the future, but still. That is what you need to do, man. I was literally packing it in. The bags were packed. You know who was sitting up there in the bleachers getting ready to sing. And then Pablo with two down in the top of the ninth hits a solo shot to tie the game. So we are going into extras. More extra inning thrillers are being brought to you on this damn channel from myself. So yeah, man, I need to I need to just get out of the tenth inning. He was able to get Jose Reyes on first, and then he uh, advanced to second base on the pass ball. Grady gets to that in right field. Thank the heavens, that did not come and come and bite me in the ass, pretty much. So Ryan Braun, if anybody is going to get on the board, like I said before, if anyone's going to spark a comeback, it would be Braun. I'm swinging for the fences again. Aroldis Chapman, this is a battle of the two workhorses, but somebody, somebody has to come out on top of this battle. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Move the hell over, Grady Sizemore. There is a new number one player on the squad who needs to be put in those clutch situations. Braun is just out here. He's just out there doing shit. That it does, it's too easy. It is too easy for him. We're taking the lead from yet another home run from that 95 Braun. So it is now 4-3 uh, in the bottom of the bottom of the 11th. I'm able to get the first two outs of this inning on K's right there. So he goes down pretty quick. First two outs, Joaquin Benoit. Looking to finish this game off. I like using this flashback. Uh, Joaquin Benoit a lot. He's really good. I find that people don't really get much going when he is in the game. And I'm able to get the final three outs in the bottom of the 11th inning. So we walk away with the W and the comeback in this game. The comeback kids making another appearance. Braun gets player of the game. Thank God they didn't give it to the pitcher. Which wouldn't have been a surprise to be honest. But still, two for five. Two very clutch home runs. If it wasn't for Braun, we definitely would have taken that L.